The dredging of the John Compton Dam will continue indefinitely to prevent further damage to the reservoir. The capacity of the silt-laden reservoir has been greatly reduced by a number of major rain events over the past decade. The desilting process is the second phase of the rehabilitation project. The first included the construction of the sediment disposal area. Wasco's communications and marketing officer Cherry Ann Gillard Williams said the company will continue to shore up the dam's resilience to weather events know how vulnerable the reservoir is to the elements. Um, a lot of Wasco's infrastructure is very vulnerable because it is out in the open. Our intakes, for example, which includes the John Compton Dam, are in rivers. So you find that anytime there is a, a major rain event, you find that these facilities are very vulnerable to um, landslides, siltation, and so on. But we are making every effort to ensure that the John Compton Dam is, does not remain as vulnerable as it is. Um, we are also, we, uh, because of that, we are engaged in um, exercises like riverbank stabilization projects and so on, so that it will minimize the chances of the dam being in the state that it is presently. The contract of the second phase of the project was awarded to Vinci Construction Maritime at Fluvial in July 2018. The dredging will help enhance water security in the northern districts. The dredging of the dam, which is at the actual removal of the silt from the, the facility um, and the transporting of that silt through pipes into the sediment disposal area, began in October, late October. So. Um, the fact that we now are dredging the dam means that the capacity of the dam will now be restored. Um, of course, the dam is the reservoir that supplies the entire north of the island with water. So with the increased capacity, we expect that there would be improved distribution to our customers in the north of the island. The reservoir supplies water to 93,000 consumers in the north of the island and parts of Ancillary. Williams assures consumers that Wasco is working to meet their demands. We are still contending with the fact that we have to um, use a very aged infrastructure in order to get our to meet our mandate of providing water to residents in the north of the island. But we want our customers to know that every effort is being made to ensure that that is done in the most effective way. We want to ensure that the facility is in a state where it can provide for the population that it supplies. And for this reason, the dredging has begun. The dredging um, process. The John Compton Dam Rehabilitation Project was launched in November 2015 with some $18 million in reserve from a levy paid by consumers. The project has been stalled by adverse weather conditions over the past four years. Prime Minister Alan Chasney in a July 2020 Instagram post stated that the John Compton Dam project focuses on reforestation and the stabilization of 150 hectares of land to help reduce land erosion and siltation of the John Compton Dam. Colby DeVoe, HTS News Force.